Hi Trader, welcome to the weekly market recap brought to you by Admo Markets. My name is Chris. Today's focus is on the 400 pip rally we saw last week on the Euro dollar, but also the pound, dollar yen and Aussie. First of all, be aware though that this video is shown to a global audience, but may not be suitable for everyone. Take a look at AdmoMarketsGlobal.com, select your country of residence and contact the appropriate entity for more details on that and other conditions. Also, please be aware that trading for exchange and global financial markets in general is considered high risk and may not be suitable for everyone. Please seek the advice of an independent financial advisor for more information on that. But continuing watching this video, you agree with this disclaimer, plus you're aware of the risk involved when trading. First of all, the Euro dollar four hour chart, let's start with that. You're looking at basically a big up move here, 400 pips for 108.20 to 112.20 ish. And price is now in a triangle retracing uh, and making a bearish retracement and kind of bouncing off the 38.2 fib already at 110.66. You also see two basically big zones here, orange and green. Uh, the basically, of course, green representing the support levels here. A lot of fractals, a lot of bottoms right around that 108 level. That's a strong bottom, double bottom here, and that's where we also started that big rally as well. You also see basically a big orange zone resistance, of course, indicating a rather large zone with a lot of resistance points in that zone and price turning every time it gets there with the exception of this point when it just went a bit above it. So what I'm expecting for the moment is basically price to retrace that big bullish candle that we have right here. You can see big upside there. And uh, obviously, I think that that candle itself could be a good signal that price can get up to that resistance zone. So I'm expecting a bit of a ABC zigzag to the upside back to that uh, resistance zone marked by orange. Now, obviously, uh, if price gets back to the 50 fib, that's always an interesting bouncing spot. The 61.8 golden ratio or even the 38.2 fib are all spots where I think that ABC zigzag with this being the A, this being the B, and here being the C at either the 272 target at 113.25 or perhaps even the minus 61.8 target at the higher end of that orange zone at 114.60. Those could be the targets then of that ABC zigzag. All right. Now, obviously, if the green zone gets broken and price actually starts to do this and doesn't make a significant rally and starts to break down like that, breaking through that green zone, what well, if something else is going on and there could be a breakout to retest the double bottom that we have here? And if it breaks through the double bottom, well, then we're getting a downtrend continuation. Of course, what we had here was a strong momentum. This is just a consolidation box. And I do eventually expect this to continue. And uh, basically, the double bottom break would be a signal and confirmation of the downtrend continuation. For the moment, though, uh, looking at the weekly chart, we can see a very bullish candle just like two weeks ago. So I think that the odds of a upside continuation into that resistance box and then a turn around, perhaps for a bigger move down, as I already indicated, perhaps for that downtrend continuation that we had here is definitely possible. All right. So this is just a consolidation. Be aware of that. It's always a bit risky to trade in consolidation, but this has lasted already quite a while. We really need a break of that double bottom before the downtrend can uh, seriously continue. But for the moment, I expect this retracement up and then a resistance zone right in here to occur. All right, there are a lot of webinars this week. Monday, Neta takes a look at his setups. All the majors, the weekly FX recap. I take a look at Tuesday, Wednesday, live trading uh, room webinars. So take a look at those to keep up to date on the market. Tuesday and Thursday, actually, we have in the evening, we have education. Neta takes a look at the value of MT4 Supreme Edition and how you can empower your trading. And Thursday together, live together, in fact, we're going to be sitting next to each other and talk about advanced methods with moving averages. So that's a, a unique occurrence. In fact, hope to see you in these webinars this week. Of course, be aware that there are a lot of news events this week. So take a look at the risk calendar, like the FOMC statement, FOMC. So be aware of that. This is the pound USD weekly. We have two bullish candles in a row. So that could indicate that there's a good chance of the high being broken, but not the low. Typically, that uh, seems the most likely scenario in this case. Looking at the monthly, though, we can see that last month was still a bearish candle, and we had several in a row. So this could just be a retracement of last month's bearish candle. So last month's high of around 146.50-ish, right, is uh, definitely a resistance spot still to, to reckon with. So although the weekly, we can see a chance that price might still make that rally, uh, it's not probably going to break through that resistance spot. So... There is a, a potential for this uptrend pointed up uptrend channel, and uh, there's a good chance of uh, of that uptrend continuing 
but not breaking this and not breaking through that resistance and then finding maybe a turnaround spot right there. So that's the most likely path of uh, least resistance in my opinion. Look at the four hour chart. You can see that this upside is probably occurring in an A, B, C zigzag of which basically the B stopped at the 38.2 Fib and the C has stopped temporarily at the minus 272 target. We're getting a bit of a retracement there. Ultimately though, I think there's a good chance to get to the minus 61.8 target, which is 145.60, and that's also below that big resistance level. Looking at the hourly, we can see that price here stopped at that minus 272 target. All right, and as long as it stays in this channel, I think there's a good chance to bounce off these support levels up to that minus 61.8 target, as mentioned just before. If it breaks out of that channel, I think then there could be a rally down to the 50 fib which, mind you, could still be a bouncing spot as well. Um, so that's something to be aware of. My primary idea, basically, both under your dollar and pound USD, is basically to find a bouncing spot uh, and look for longs up to those targets. That's my main focus here for, for this week on those two pairs. The dollar yen still is remaining below that bottom, and that has, of course, turned, because it's been broken, has turned into resistance, and that orange levels... That orange zone basically still intact, price not breaking through it, and respecting that, building a consolidation below it basically. So it's a bit of a triangle actually. So if it breaks that triangle to the upside, I still see resistance above it, and those could be turning spots for downside. If it breaks the triangle to the downside, then that makes a lot of sense because that, to me at least, because that could be a downtrend continuation down to, for instance, 108, which is the minus 27 target. Last but not least, the odd USD. Uh, basically looking at a strong momentum to the upside here. And you can see the oscillator really very tall, very strong. And uh, we see a 61.8 target bounce, but price actually respecting it, respecting the target here, but continuing higher, continuing above it. So from my point of view, when I look at this, I still see space up to the next target, the minus 100 target at 76.50. So the retracement that's occurring here right now you can see that on the hourly chart, just a bit better perhaps, uh, I think is, is a retracement down to support, which could be used for a bouncing spot up to that 76.50. So I'm going to keep an eye on how price responds to, uh, to this zone right in here and to see if it can get a turn uh, basically for a bounce for that upside on the odd USD. And uh, so obviously you can see bearish uh, on the dollar, expecting dollar yen to continue lower eventually after the triangle break and expecting euro dollar pound usd and odd usd to march a bit higher after retracement to the to the downside so that's my view i do have some levels that i'm going to keep an eye on if it pushes through those like this for instance the support line and, and the launch well then of course it's it's not as bullish as i expect anymore right then price is telling me differently it's making a reversal back down and, and that's fine and that's why it's of course good to have invalidation levels on the chart to know when the analysis is different. And if it breaks through that green line, if it breaks through these bottoms, well then there's maybe that chance to retest 72.50 because there we have bigger bigger tops and bigger trend lines and that could be then the bouncing spot, right? So that's basically how I look at price. Those are the important zones on a chart, 76.50, these support levels, and then ultimately then if price does get there, these support levels, right? So that's how I'm looking at the, the charts for this week. Thanks for joining. Hope to see you in the webinars. And make sure to take a look at the content that's being released every day on the website, mmarkets.com or through the social media. Thanks and wish you good trading. Cheers.